intercalated disc. So it is a feature that you see in cardiac muscle. Uh, you are seeing a micro photograph of a cardiac muscle and here you are seeing intercalated disc. You, you can see uh, this is the direction of the cardiac muscles. Okay, these are all muscle fibers. And if you look that these are longitudinal muscle fibers that are running through like this. And if you look through that, these are intercalated discs. Okay, these, these, all these horizontally running uh, structures are all intercalated discs. They will be having this uh, transverse direction. Uh, though this is the direction of the muscle fiber, they will be having transverse direction. So these are intercalated discs. It is a characteristic of cardiac muscle. Now, what is intercalated disc? If you want to know what is intercalated disc, you have to have a look at a transmission electron microscopy of a, a cardiac muscle cell. So this is a cardiac muscle cell. This is another cardiac muscle cell. And in between these two cells, you are seeing the intercalated disc. Okay, this is the intercalated disc and it is an enlarged form. And you are seeing different components of it. So what are the different components of the intercalated disc? Intercalated disc contains one fascia adherence, two desmosomes and three nexus also called as gap junctions. Now let us have a look uh, into this picture to identify these uh, three structures. It is all labeled there. This is the fascia adherence as you can see here. So this structure is a fascia adherence and uh, this is the nexus or a gap junction. Okay, so you can see that it is having uh, altogether uh, the <clears throat> intercalated disc is having a zigzag appearance. And in that zigzag appearance, you can see that these are longitudinally arranged and these are transversely arranged because this is one cell and this is another cell. So it is arranged like that. And you can see that the nexus is also actually located in the longitudinal uh, compartment. Uh, but in the transverse compartment, you have the fascia adherence and you also are seeing the desmosomes here. Desmosomes, these are the same structures that you see uh, in the epithelial cells. They are almost like spot wells that are uh, holding these two surfaces and adhering these two surfaces. So why do you need to know this? This uh, structure is very important because these are basically cell junctions. This is one cell and this is another cell. So this is uh, actually a cell junction. <clears throat> so uh, the fascia adherence and uh, desmosomes are basically adhering junctions. Because if you remember, desmosomes is called macula adherence. So both of these are going to mechanically hold one cell to another cell. So this cell is mechanically uh, bound to the next cell by these desmosomes and these fascia adherence. Then what is the function of this gap junctions? Gap junctions are providing a, a, a window between two cells. That means uh, if you have an electrical stimulation of this cell, then that continues on to the next cell. So it will give an electrical continuity or a, or a chemical continuity between two cells. So it is basically giving uh, an electrochemical continuity. So what is the function altogether of an intercalated disc? Intercalated disc is making the cardiac muscle to function as a functional syncytium. So this is cell number one, this is cell number two. All the cells are electrically connected and they are also mechanically coupled. So it is an electromechanical coupling mechanism. Thank you.